Hey yo, what's up guys? This is Shockham Starcraft and I'm here with troubleshooting for your network. Starcraft 2 multiplayer lag. Okay, so I just built a new computer and um so Starcraft 2 should be working just fine and smooth, right? No. The campaign smooth as can be, you know, just the smoothest thing in the world. Campaign smooth. But the StarCraft 2 multiplayer lag is terrible. As soon as I join any game, no matter if it's against computers or against humans, one or four, it just starts lagging. It starts choppy, choppy, choppy. And this was kind of annoying and I couldn't figure out what the issues were. So I finally fixed my problem, I think. But I have a few different troubleshooting paths I've uh, come across since then that have helped other people. So I'm going to go over a few of these different things. So if you're lagging in, in multiplayer in StarCraft 2, um, and it's not just your frame rates, uh, then the network might be your issue. And we're going to go over some troubleshooting. First off, if you have an antivirus, like right here I have Microsoft Security Essentials, which is okay with StarCraft 2. It doesn't block it, at least in my experience. Um, but if you have McAfee or anything else, you may want to try to disable it. Um, um, just end the process from running, control alt delete, and then end the process uh, and then try it again. If not, you can try un uninstalling it. I've heard someone of having a problem with McAfee antivirus and they had to uninstall, uninstall it and get StarCraft 2 working. Um, but this Microsoft Security Essentials is free. You can get that off the Microsoft site and it works really well. So that's one issue people are having. Um, and another one, we're going to be going to the device manager for two two more solutions. So if you have Windows 7 or Vista, you can go in here and t type device manager, and it'll pop up at the top right here. But I'm going to show you for all you people that don't necessarily have this and want to get to it through the control panel. Go to the control panel. You go to system and security, and then you're going to go over here to device manager under system. So go to your device manager. And here you're going to see where your network adapters are. You can see this list of um, devices, and the network adapters are right here. I have a, um, for Ethernet, I have this adapter, and for my wireless LAN card, I have this. I use a USB wireless LAN card, so on this new computer I built. And I'm assuming that I had some problem with this. That's why um, when I was troubleshooting for myself, this was the new thing introduced to my computer network-wise that was causing me to lag. Because on my laptop, I wasn't. So what I did is you can go in here, you can click Properties, right-click Properties, go to Advanced tab. Um, actually, we're going to go to the Driver tab first. The first thing you're going to want to do is update your drivers. You're probably not going to want to update them through this process by clicking Update Driver because usually Windows will say there's no drivers to update. It's current. But if you go on Google, go to Google and find out what your... Um, uh, let's go back to properties. If you look right here, you can see that I have an 802.11n USB wireless LAN card. Um, you can go to Google, type that in, or whatever yours is, and look for drivers and um, possibly find newer drivers than Windows could. And that's one, one other solution. And then another solution which fixed my problem in lag and multiplayer on StarCraft 2 is you'll see that the in under advanced I have these you're gonna you're probably gonna have different ones um, or more or less whatever but if you look you can click on each one and on mine it might look a little different on your screen but on the right you'll see the value disabled or enabled is usually what it shows but originally multimedia gaming environment was disabled for me that was disabled under my wireless LAN card and that's what was causing my StarCraft 2 to be really choppy um, and I couldn't play any uh, multiplayer games. So I enabled this, and after I enabled that, my vi antivirus is on and everything, and I can go in and play games. Um, there's also, if you go to this, if you're uh, connected to your modem wired um, to your LAN, you go to properties on here. I'm using wireless. That's a fix for that wireless card. It might be on yours, it might not be. Under advanced, you can see for wired, there's a few more. If you see the checksum offload, IPv4, um, these you're going to want enabled. Or er, actually, I saw in um, a tech support forum someone disabled them and uh, maybe had some luck with them. Um, I think that's what I'm recalling now. I don't think it was enabled. So you can try disabling those, but I would recommend putting them back if it doesn't do anything. 
Um, so those are some fixes. You can update your drivers for your network adapter. You can go in and go ahead, go to advanced, and turn on the multimedia gaming environment, enable it. That's what fixed mine. You can uninstall or disable your antivirus. And also for the last thing is the ports for StarCraft 2. Um, you'll see that uh, there's ports that you need open in order to play StarCraft 2 or to play it smoothly. And I'm trying to find the part where it tells you uh, Warcraft 3, not exactly. But there are certain TCP ports that you need open that you could call your ISP. This is what you can do. Um, since I don't know the exact numbers right now, you could easily Google it. Um, what you're going to do is your TCP ports, there's two of them that you're going to want to open for StarCraft 2. Instead of doing it, if you're not very tech savvy, call your ISP, your internet service provider, um, whatever, whatever they may be. Mine's Time Warner. Um, you call them and you say, hey, I need StarCraft 2 to work on my network it's not working are the ports being blocked are this being blocked and that being blocked and they'll open them for you they'll do whatever for you and they'll help you um, also I heard of another person having problems with not even just the ports but something else on battle not being blocked from their internet service provider so those are some things you can check on um, hopefully you get it fixed because I've been missing um, playing on matches where I didn't lag insane and get booted every you know once in a while so Hopefully that works for you. One of those things work for you. And this is Shockham Starcraft. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, I have some tutorials for Starcraft 2. And I will also be having commentating and other Starcraft 2 content coming up in the future. Please subscribe and um, good luck in the future with multiplayer and Starcraft 2.